In this clip, we'll be rotoscoping our subject for isolation. Okay, so there's actually two types of rotoscopes you can create. Now, in our case, we really only need one, but depending on your shot, you may need two. There's what is called the inside mask and the outside mask. The outside mask is what normally gets called a garbage mat, and that's just kind of where you sort of are isolating, you know, most of the foreground and leaving out, you know, anything big. So if maybe you have some lights or like a cameraman or something is for some reason being captured, you know, all of that stuff would go away. Now, then you would also maybe make another one that's a little more close around the edges of your subject. And that would be your inside mask. The inside mask is also called a holdout mat. So if you've ever heard that before, that's what that's talking about. So inside is the holdout and outside is the garbage. Um, so in our case, we really only need one because this is not a terrible green screen that we are working with here. So we can just kind of come in and go right around the dog and that can work as our outside mat and we really don't even need a holdout mat at that point. So let's go ahead and create that. I'm going to hit the tab key and add a roto node. And I'm just going to drop it right in between the dog and our key light. Now I'm starting here on, you know, this one of the last frames here. And I'm just going to kind of draw around the dog. And you could see that automatically sets a key. Now over here, his nose kind of was getting cut off, so we can kind of push this up a little bit too. You can see it just doesn't matter that it's, you know, not right up on him super close. And then right here where he gets, you know, a lot taller, we can kind of bring this in like this. And let's go ahead and cusp this point. So that's something we didn't talk about a lot before, but cusp, or actually smooth it. Cusp means it's a right angle. Smooth means that you would get a little bit of some handles there. So that's what I'm wanting. And then I'll grab my selection tool, select all, and kind of pull that out. Now let's see what this looks like in between. When it looks like we need a little adjustment here. And I'm just kind of scrubbing through to make sure that nothing is getting left out. And he doesn't really move much up and down before this. So looks like we're good on that. Perfect. Actually, we may have had just a little bit get cut off there. Nope, that looks good. Okay, so now we've got our outside mask. Now, is this working? It doesn't, you know, really look like anything has actually changed. So what do we do to check that? Well, I can come back over here to my um, screen. And if I hit the A key again, you can see, you know, not a lot has changed. We just happen to have a rotoscope in here, but it's not it's not taking anything away like these sides. So how do we get that to work? Well, we need to go ahead and hook up our outside mat. So this is considered an outside mat. So I'll go ahead and hook it up here and I'm going to add a dot node so that we can see both of these inputs because I don't like it whenever they overlap each other. So we've got our outside mat and our source. Now, let's get rid of this roto node for a second. And what we wanna be looking at is our outside mat component here. So right now it's set to none and there's several different options. So if we do alpha, you can see it makes the dog disappear. So it's making everything that was the alpha of that uh, rotoscope, you can see everything that was the alpha on the inside of that disappeared, but I want everything the other side of it to disappear. So we'd choose inverted alpha. And whoops, I was on the inside mask. There we go, inverted alpha. So the outside mask when set to inverted alpha will take everything outside of it away. If you've drawn it in a circle around your subject, basically. So 
this is perfectly what we want. Um, now, normally, if you were drawing a garbage mat, you know, that was kind of like on the side over here, maybe around that, and then another one over here, you would just do alpha, and then that would be, that would be working for you. So now all we have to do is start working with the controls, the screen mat controls to kind of get the dog to have a little bit more of a solid alpha instead of kind of this black and white sort of, you know, hazy. We want it to be a lot more solid like this area over here. So let's jump into our next lesson where we'll learn about our screen mat controls.